This video is sponsored by Auto Exchange. Okay, what is up, guys? Fahan here with Hadi once again back at Auto Exchange. Eh? So, yesterday I screwed up. No? I screwed up eh? late in the night. Eh? I riding the ADV. Eh? I lost the key. Because eh? I put, you know, I dropped the key because I put in my cargo pants. Eh? Then it dropped. Eh? So, I actually texted Hadi late in the night yesterday. Eh? What the M, <laughs> What the M, <laughs> I came back to this place, returned the bike. Then I tell him what happened. Eh? So, I must pay back the key. Lah. <laughs> so, Adi, I want to ask you, how many people lose key before? Common, this one, we got four to five of them. Four to five of them? One highest record. One person, four times. He misplaced the key. Drop the key, most of the time. Yeah, that's the trouble about transponder. Lah. So, now, Hadi has a new deal for me. He actually has a new, what, what bike? Lah? X-Max. X-Max, brand new, bros. Brand new. And then after that, uh, I'm the first guy to basically break into the bike. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> Running in eh? Running in eh? Mm. So I cannot whack ah. Cannot whack, 80. Can 80 ah? Yeah. Okay, can I at least get to try the X-Max lah. X-Max what? 350? 250. 250. So at least I get to try how the bike handles lah. But as Hadi say, running in, 80. So, yeah lah, I'm gonna make a promise to that lah. Not to go beyond 80 lah. <laughs> Thanks Hadi. Alright. Thanks lah. No worries. Apologies for the key bro. <laughs> Seriously ah, apologies. Bro. Please do not lose the key, bro, again. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay, I see, I see. So this is the bike. It's really brand new, guys. You see, it got plastic. Woo. So, how many kilometers are you this one? Zero. Zero? <laughs> brand new. Oh, brand new, so I'm really the first one. It's the same. Tapi start this thing, eh? Zero, the odd meter is really zero. So, thank you, Adi, so much. Such, really. an, such an honor, man. Really, man. Such an honor, though. I'm really breaking it to her, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, here is my ultimate review of the Yamaha X Max 250. Launched in 2018 and part of the Max series of scooters, the Yamaha X Max 250 is marketed as an affordable, lightweight, premium maxi scooter with style and convenience. Engine is a 249cc single cylinder liquid cool 4 stroke SOHC with fuel injection and a V belt automatic transmission. So, here in Singapore, the X Max series of scooters are very popular and are commonly seen on the roads. It's very popular with riders of all ages. So, now I'm gonna get it down the road and see how it rides. Okay, um, so this is the test ride review of the X Max uh, 250. First up, we gotta go into the highway and uh, see how the X Max 250 performs. One thing that confuses me at first when I rode the X Max 250 is that the starter over here, as you can see, is actually with the engine kill switch, so uh, it's kind of confusing. And uh, turning on is easy, just uh, you know, turn it on and then uh, pressing in the left brake lever. And uh, pressing the kill switch, the starter. <laughs> so we're gonna go into Central Expressway and uh, see how the Yamaha X Max 250 performs. I wouldn't expect it to perform that good because I've actually rode the bike for quite a while now, and uh, for me, the performance is uh, pretty average because it's a 250, even though it's a class 2A, so it cannot really go that fast. And uh, yeah, we got heavy traffic along Central Expressway here so uh, I don't know kind of daunting for me because uh, I never really uh, lane split with the X Max 250 but we're gonna try our best anyways uh, it's really bulky when I first rode on it and uh, I'm actually tiptoeing while uh, riding the X Max 250 uh, because <laughs> I don't know I think it's just a bit too too tall for me and anyway, I'm always used to uh, class 2B bikes. Uh, though it's a class 2A, uh, I would categorize this somewhat in the class 2B category lah because of the CC. The CC is merely 250. So definitely you cannot expect much from it lah. The bike really goes lah. Pretty decent acceleration, uh, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent speed. I did rode the bike over 100 kilometers already yesterday, the first day I got the bike, I already rode it more than 100 kilometers. I'm definitely gonna whack the bike a bit lah today to test out the bike uh, to its limits lah. But hopefully traffic would, uh, would subside after the Amokyo area, you know. 
Okay, so um, performs well in uh, slow traffic, as you can see over here. Uh, just merely controlling the the throttle. Nothing much to it. It's an auto bike. It's really easy to control, lah. Even uh, I think even a three year old kid can ride this bike probably. I have to say that it's quite daunting for me to be uh, lane splitting in this bike at first, but uh, I finally got used to it uh, today. So I have to say that I love, I love the engine sound on the XPX 250. Uh, it's like, uh, you know, a nice lower uh, buzzing noise, like a buzzing bee, it reminds me of a buzzing bee like that, you know. So, uh, it really has a nice sounding uh, engine, uh, nice sounding purr. Okay, uh, pretty good top speed, I must say. Definitely more than enough for you to get away from sticky situations. The uh, bike is pretty stable in high speeds. You feel as if uh, you're glued to the ground. However, my main complaint is the suspension. La. I think because this is a new bike, suspension is brand new, so it's a bit too hard for me. I can really, I can like literally feel every bump and every uh, <laughs> every bump, every line on the on the road right now. Brakes pretty responsive. This uh, Yamaha XMAX 250 has ABS. It means it won't lock up. In an event of an emergency break, we're gonna exit Central Expressway and uh, head towards Tampines Expressway. Okay, the bike corners really well, I must say. Very nimble. Okay, we're gonna give it a bit of gas. Okay, acceleration. Pretty fast. Pretty responsive. Even though it's 250cc, but it's uh, very fast. Uh. Okay, so Tampines Expressway. Uh, less traffic, so I think we can whack the bike a little bit. And uh, we're going to just do that now. Woo! Very fast. Acceleration is very fast, I have to say. Uh. Uh, very stable, I'm not shaking at all. I'm really good to the ground over here. I feel as if I'm really good to the ground. I feel as if the wind is cutting uh, pretty good uh, on the bike. No, barely any wind resistance. Definitely a good twirl, you know, if you're up for it. Okay, so we're gonna see the engine braking, closing the throttle. Okay, engine braking is damn effective on the X-Max. It slows down considerably as opposed to like, uh, you know, the ADV150 that I tried recently and even the Aerox, uh, the Aerox doesn't slow down considerably when I close the throttle. So engine braking is very, very, very effective. I mean, I don't even need to really apply any brakes. See, the bike really slows down considerably. Uh. I have to say, it performs really awesome on the highway right now. We're gonna test the x max in uh, city streets, you know, and how it performs in uh, city setting. So for me, as with any maxi scooter, uh, the x max performs really well in slow traffic because uh, I think that is what maxi scooters are built for. Like. For, you know, a fast free ride, you know, you don't have to change gear, you don't need to uh, do any, you don't need to depress any clutch. And uh, for me, I'm really getting used to the automatic bikes lah, because when I first rode the Aerox, I keep pressing the, the left lever, which is actually the fun brake, because I thought it's the clutch. And automatic bikes don't freewheel, so yeah, <laughs> my mistake over there. Even though it's a class 2A, you shouldn't expect more out of it lah, because um, at the end of the day, it's only 250cc. I think because, like I said, I think it's because of uh, other countries in which uh, 250cc and above is really open class. For us here in Singapore, class 2A is like motorbikes are between uh, 200 to 400cc. So uh, there's some confusion there, lah. Which in Singapore, in Singapore context, the 250cc bike shouldn't make sense, uh. 
really maintain speed very well I have to say okay engine braking very very effective I mean I'm not even I'm not even pressing on the brakes right now and uh, it's slowing down considerably that I had to you know <laughs> accelerate <laughs> to prevent uh, from slowing down too much And one thing about the X-Max 250, it doesn't have the start-stop feature as with uh, the Aerox or the ADV. I don't know if the T-Max or other X-Max model has it. And speaking of other X-Max models, uh, in terms of design, the X-Max 250 is very similar to the 300 and the 400. So basically, people won't know. Lah. You know, people could think I'm riding the 400 or 300. But it's actually a 350cc. Even Yamaha themselves don't put the, the CC number on the side of the bike. Only the owner knows it, I guess. Okay, I can really tell the difference. Uh. Because we as the XX owners knows how to tell apart from a 250cc to a 300cc and a 400cc. Okay, let's turn left into Tampanese Avenue 3. Takes in corners really well, I have to say. I mean, I just move a bit. I just lean a bit and the bike actually corners. So, uh, yeah. Uh, handling is, is very good on this bike. Uh. Okay, it's raining. And uh, trying to finish the review. Oh my gosh, I have to say that. First time riding the bike yesterday. Uh, it was pretty daunting for me because uh, the size of the X-Max 250 is pretty intimidating, I must say. I think yesterday I rode the bike for quite some time. I mean, almost half the day gone riding this bike, testing this bike, completing the run-in, you know. Uh, I have to say that I've gotten used to the bike. Lah. I mean, it's not as intimidating as I thought. Lah. Even for me, um, my legs are kind of short for this bike. My legs are literally dangling right now and coming to a stop. Yep, it's dangling. The riding position for me, this bike, uh, is very comfortable. The handlebar isn't too low, isn't too high, it's just right for me. The sitting position is also very good. It's very comfortable, I see. Okay, pretty good launch. But, uh, I think you must uh, whack the throttle quite a bit to launch like that. Because the biting point is uh, quite far. To launch, to accelerate as fast as that, your throttle you need to whack. See something like this. Ah, then the bike really moves. Okay, doing pretty well. Once again, takes in corners really well. Acceleration pretty, pretty good. Pretty decent for a class 2A. Oh, 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 I can really feel, I can literally feel the road markings. The suspension isn't that great. Uh. Kind of sucks. So I don't know if you guys know this, but to me, the X-Max is a very common bike. You literally see it everywhere in Singapore, including the Aerox. I mean, I think riders just love this bike. Uh. That has resulted in uh, a lot of them on the roads here in Singapore. And... It just doesn't turn hits anymore. I mean, when you see the X-Max on the road, it's like, okay, it's just another X-Max. Nothing to shout about. But when this bike first came out, it's, it's, uh, it's really a hit turner, you know. I mean, its design isn't like any typical uh, maxi scooter out there at the time of its release. It's really beautiful. Uh, it's sharp angular lines. It's really a refreshing look to the maxi scooter uh, scene. Uh. But right now, when you see an NMX or even a T-Max, for example, uh, you just don't get that. You just don't get... Your head doesn't really stick it turn anymore. Like, it's basically, oh yeah, it's just another X-Max. It's just another T-Max. It's just another Yamaha Maxi scooter. But a lot of owners have been uh, modifying their X-Max to stand out from the crowd, you know. I mean, with the wide range of accessories that is available for this bike, I mean, there's so many different combinations you can do. And there's a, then there's an X-Max right there. <laughs> I mean, that's like the ninth one I saw today. 
on this ride right now. In terms of accessories, there's a lot. You know, there's the windshield, there's the floorboards, uh, the mirrors, the grips. I don't know, a lot of things that you can do. Some owners even customize their decals to stand out from the other x masses Because the x mess the colors, uh, what they have to offer is just the blue, gray, and this color, which is somewhat black. And uh, limited color offerings. And not only that, the colors are kind of dull because it's dark. We would love if Yamaha have you know more options to the colors as similar to the Aerox. They even have bright colors. And for me, if I were to get the X Max, I'd probably pick the I'd probably pick the blue one. Pick the blue one, you know, uh, really catches my eye. Okay, guys. So um, two days for the X Max. Uh, all I can say is, uh, yeah, it's a pretty awesome Maxi scooter. And um, here's my conclusion of it. Uh, Design-wise, uh, its appearance is virtually similar to the XX300 and 400. It features the trademark T-Max, angular bodywork and uh, aggressive styling for that sporty appearance. Very modern and also unique. It doesn't have that typical Maxi scooter appearance. However, in Singapore, it's so common that the X-Max doesn't really stand out for me. Lah. And um, it's just like, oh, it's just another, it's just another X-Max. <laughs> Uh, comes in three colors, Sonic Grey as seen here, Blazing Grey, the brighter one, and Phantom Blue. And I have to comment that the color choices uh, are quite dull. As with any Maxi scooter, it's packed with technology and convenience. Each cluster is in a somewhat LCD display, though its tachometer and speedometer strangely, strangely still uses the analog style. Uh, to me, Starting the bike is quite strange uh, because the starter button is together with the engine cutoff switch unlike in most bikes. Uh, seat height is um, 79.5 and I'm 65 with short legs so it's kind kind of high for me and basically I'm tip towing uh, when I'm stationary uh. <laughs> but still manageable as um, I'm getting used to it. Pretty heavy and bulky for me uh, but maybe because uh, I need to get used to the weight as uh, this is a uh, class 2A. Uh. So fuel tank is uh, 13 liters with a projected range of uh, 3.34 liters per 100 kilometers. So meaning a total of projected range of uh, 347 subjected to your riding style of course. Uh, storage is what I love in this bike. The storage cubby at the front features a USB port to charge your phone and uh, it's quite deep inside so you can really, you know, don't worry, you can really open it, leave it open and uh, not worry about things you know falling out uh, the undersea storage is um, according to Yamaha is 45 liters and it can really fit two helmets I've actually tried and tested it the day before when I was you know riding around with uh, my fiance and there's also a small light at the undersea storage to help you see uh, at night lah on what you want to take at the undersea storage or something lah this is a class 2A meaning that riders can ride bikes with, uh, Displacement range of 200 to 400 cc, and you actually wonder why the displacement is uh, 250 cc. This is due to the different classes of licensing in other countries, such as Japan. You know, with most having two classes, and 250 cc is actually the the limit lah. Um, for the X Max range, there's also the 300 and the 400, much more powerful siblings in the series. However, I was told that these two bikes. The fuel consumption is quite high. You can already see that in my previous review of the XPX 400 with owner Firus as he shared his experience with the XPX 400. He describes it in one single swift action, which is... <laughs> so, uh, I guess with more power comes uh, the fuel consumption. Lah. And uh, riding this bike for quite a lot is to past two days and I have to say that it doesn't use up too much fuel. Uh, I think maybe it's because uh, it's lower CC, single cylinder, so that's why I think it doesn't uh, consume that much gas. Lah. So something to consider when you're planning to get the XMAX series of uh, Class 2A bikes. That's it for my review of uh, the XMAX 250. Uh, I don't know how depth or how detailed you can get with it. Uh, more details you can check out uh, my video once again with Firus. On his on my review of his X Max 400, I think because as an owner he can share more inputs. Special thanks to Hadi, the gang at Auto Exchange for creaming up with uh, this uh, X Max 250. So do rent or do rent your bike with them. Do lease your bike with them. They even offer lease to own schemes. And uh, yeah, hope you like my review of the X Max 250. And uh, that's it for the vlog. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.